This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. A man is in custody following a SWAT situation in Gilbert Monday. Police say Paris Drake Greer was armed and threatened a family near Germain and Lindsay and then took off. People in the home got out safely when police arrived. Greer was wanted in Minnesota on robbery charges. Looking ahead, the Phoenix City Council will vote tomorrow on six different affordable housing opportunities all across the valley, which would be mostly paid for using federal funds. Let's show you this map of all the locations of each of the affordable housing units across the city. They include one development near the I-10 and 16th Street, another by 27th Avenue in Glendale, 35th Avenue and I-10, Camelback and 7th Avenue, and another by 7th Avenue and Broadway. One of the locations was listed as confidential. This week, ABC 15 is teaming up with our news partners at KTAR for an in-depth special on homelessness in the Valley. You can watch the Without a Home roundtable discussion hosted by our own Javier Soto and KTAR's Jamie West Wednesday and Thursday from 12.15 to 2 p.m. on abc15.com slash roundtable. A warning to check your freezers. Frozen strawberries are being recalled due to a potential hepatitis A contamination. The Winona Frozen Foods Daybreak Blend was sold at Costco stores in Arizona from April to June of last year. If you have a bag in your freezer, you can bring it to the store you got it from for a refund. No illnesses have been reported due to this recall. $28.5 million is coming to Arizona to help connect people in rural areas of our state to affordable high speed Internet. Some of that money will be going to the Colorado River Indian tribes in La Paz County. The funds are thanks to President Biden's infrastructure law. Hi, everybody. My name is Chris Rude with Sunflower Bank, and we're here today to help support St. Vincent de Paul and their annual water drive. This is really important uh, to help all those in our community during one of the most challenging times of the year. We want to give a fit, big thank you to Sunflower Bank for your $5,000 donation to the ABC 15 Water Drive, and you can help too. Today we're holding a phone bank from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and also 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. For our ABC 15 Water Drive benefiting St. Vincent de Paul, call 855-522-1515 to donate or donate online right now at abc15.com slash water. You can also scan that QR code on your screen. It's Tuesday and I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. As we talk about your most accurate forecast, we are warming up after a high of just 93 yesterday. More than 10 degrees below the average high for this time of year. Things are going to start to heat up, but we'll still end up in the double digits with Phoenix topping out at 97 today. Just shy of 100 out to our west too, Lake Havasu up to 99. We'll warm into the mid 80s in Sedona and in Kingman with highs in the 70s today for spots like Flagstaff, Heber, Sholo and Window Rock. We're back under air quality alerts as those winds remain light. It looks like Ozone pollution will build and it could reach unhealthy levels by this afternoon. So we're officially under an air quality alert or an ozone high pollution advisory today. That could again be extended into tomorrow. Right now it's a high pollution watch for Wednesday. But I do think breezes will start to pick up a little bit on Wednesday and then they increase in speed through the rest of the week. That'll improve air quality. A slight chance for showers in northern Arizona by Saturday. Otherwise looking dry in the valley and getting hotter through the weekend. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or go ahead and download that free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 flash briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.